Hey, welcome uh, to our home here. Beautiful day here this afternoon. I just wanted to take you with me on a little uh, walk around our farm property, uh, deer plots, wildlife, trees, flowers, birds, and the bees. Welcome to our channel, Gerald and Becky Miller. And uh, yeah, I just uh, would really love to take you on a tour, including the bees, my trees, and the uh, just the things we have on our farm here. I'm really, I'm really happy today to take you with me, but the thing is, uh, kind of sad in a way, the, one of the last days of September, beautiful weather and knowing what's coming. We love October and November, but of course it gets cold and chilly then, but just, just enjoying God's nature. So this video, I hope it's not boring, but I'm going to show you how bees make honey and how deer plots bring along deer and nature. And I'm also looking at how to attract owls. Some of you might laugh at that, but I've got some owls in my woods and I hear them at night. And I'd like to, if any of you have any ideas, maybe in the comments, uh, explain to me how I can attract and put out nesting boxes. And yeah, it's a great day. Just join me, join in and follow me around my farm. And, uh, also, just love you guys, and just please subscribe, comment, like, and uh, love to just have you uh, be with us on this trip. So, blessings to each one. Hope you enjoy it, and more coming up. You know, the great Buckeye State, right behind me is a beautiful Buckeye tree I planted. And it's, it's doing wonderful. Doing a great job of colors with my really busy bees in the back behind me. Somehow they're really busy today. 75 degree weather and uh, just beautiful. You know, my friends give me a hard time about a buckeye tree. Some of them say that's a worthless nut, but I think it's like the eye of a buck deer. It's, it's a great, so that's why I planted a tree. I love trees. I've planted hundreds of trees in my life. Even when I was in Africa, we planted trees, mango trees and lemon and fruit trees. But here, I just love trees. Beautiful weather You will notice that the first part of this video is just showing what we did back in May. The tour of our farm here that you can link to is a video we made of when we planted this, just giving you an idea of the crops and what we did and how we did it. And that what we're spreading here is uh, was fertilizer and lime that we got at our local uh, feed store that uh, really helped our plots put lime in and uh, a good fertilizer, what they recommended. So you will see that uh, this was a, a good experience for us. 
I put pictures on here to show you what we planted as far as the seeds from uh, Florida, Hancock Seed Company, two different spring mixes, and they looked like they did very well for us. In addition to that, I got some uh, clover and some oats and uh, also a bean that kind of climbs up those stalks of those sunflowers and corn to make a, a better fall forage for my deer and turkeys. Of course, I love those sunflowers, so I added some extra mammoth sunflower seeds to the whole mix as well. everyone back home again on the farm back home where the sunflowers bloom and the coyotes howl and oh wow yeah I have not heard coyotes in a while but we do in the summertime with sometimes so I wanted to show you my husband's deer plot with millet and oats and I don't know if there's cane in there, it almost looks like cane and sunflowers. So I want to show that to you right here. Just look at it. It's a whole patch of big sunflowers. And there's the wheat. It looks like it's ready. The deer are just really enjoying that, eating those heads. And this I think is a, a millet head. I'm pretty sure it's, it's a millet or it doesn't look like cane. Cane would be taller. So that looks like a millet head and a of course, the beautiful sunflowers. Yeah, there's miniature sunflowers and then there's big ones. Yeah, aren't they beautiful? Look at that one right there. Oh, I think they're so gorgeous. Got that bright orange circle in the center. I just love that. Anyway, I'm gonna make a bouquet to take along to my family reunion and we're going to travel about three or three and a half hours so I will be happy for that and I actually see some corn in there too I see some corn tassels in there anyway nice variety for the deer and it gives them a good diet so the deer meat is good or better maybe than some so enjoy
As you can see here, this is one of our trail cameras. We have about uh, four or five, six of them out on our farm. And this is a, an original Deer Lake where we put our salt and minerals in Lucky Buck. And the deer love to get into that every day.
Do you notice in this video that this bee that you see here with the pollen and nectar coated on her back legs, she's about a half mile from where her hive is that I'm gonna show you where they are going into with this pollen. This is uh, the last of the honey for the season is the goldenrod. And that is why if you buy goldenrod honey, it's made from these flowers. This is now honey from the uh, purple Russian sage flowers in front of our house. This video is quite long and I'm sorry for that, but it's gonna give you an idea on when the uh, bees are working like this before end of the year yet, getting ready for winter in Ohio, coming from that goldenrod field that you've seen, probably about a half mile to a mile away. These bees are carrying this in here very fast and notice the reason I zeroed in on this hive Notice as they fly into here, you can see them carrying this pollen and nectar and just totally getting ready for a four or five month winter in cold weather. And notice also the one that died or was maybe a robber bee, how they pushed him out of the hive and put him down outside. And I noticed I was taking this video that the bees all backed off of that until they had that strange bee off the edge of that hive, and then the rest of them all went back in again. Thought it was very interesting. I hope you enjoy it.
Notice here the bee is bringing that one out and it looks like they're trying to kill it. Now it's going back in, in the middle of the hive, goes in a little bit, then it's gonna come back out, here it comes, and it's gonna bring it back down. And as it brings it down and away, see how the other bees really go into that? Now it comes back out, it's trying to put it off on the side. Now the bees are really taking over, going back in. I'm not quite sure why they're doing that. Maybe somebody on here can comment or, or uh, tell us what's going on here. But I do notice as soon as that bee is down, I don't know, did it get stung or what happened? But it's away from it and all the other bees are going in and out. And it's probably going to end up dying right there. Interesting how Mother Nature is taking its course on here. Won't get too close here. He's putting something in that bowl, I'm not sure what. He's got his bee coat on and that smoker to kind of douse him down and get him all calm and yeah, he still has some that would love to, to sting, but it seems like when they sting you, they smell that and that just makes the bees go crazy. So he tries to move slow and not even let them start stinging or anything like that. Got lots of honey in there, honey? There's some honey. Look at all them bees. Oh, wow. He thinks I can come closer. I don't want to get stung. That white hive right there has got bees in it too. The second one, I don't know. The first one is active. I can see that. I painted that box. Yeah, there's bees going in and out of that box. And that one maybe. But the, that one with the pink flowers on top, I don't think there's anything going there. But. The other one is very strong. It's actually got bees on the outside of the box and it's got quite a bit of honey in it. So we're excited about that. He's going to put the lid back on. Hi, Calico. Calico. Okay, he likes the grass. Meow, meow. Look at the bee man. <laughs> Got your bonnet on. Ooh wee. I better get out of here. What can you say? Okay, we're going to have some sweet honey right off the farm here in southern Ohio. Sweet honey right from the bees and the trees. Awesome, awesome. He's got another hive or so across the hall. We're back on the other end of the property. And um, yeah, we're hoping to get some honey this year.